to be or not to be taught Shakespeare in the South African classroom. My name is Frances Brinkham and my first argument is that of expanded vocabulary. According to dailywritingtips.com, Shakespeare can be acknowledged for being the inventor of between 2,000 and 2,500 new English words. Listen to the following Shakespeare sentence, for instance. English literature classes should be accommodating to all, submerged in smoldering, fashionable jargon, bedazzling those that are into pageantry, with teachers eyeballing those that have an addiction of attempting the assassination of an English classroom. Argument two is that of big literature canons at the history of language. If one should attend an Afrikaans class, one will at some point be confronted with the big canons in the Afrikaans literature. For instance, Louis Leipold and Emil van Beek Loh. The same pattern is expected in any other ethnic language class regarding historic language writers. One should thus accept that Shakespeare's works form an integral part of the history of English. My third argument is about the introduction of insult and humour into the English classroom. Shakespeare plays are ridden with classic examples. In Hamlet, the word fishmonger is used to insult a modern day pimp. Fish dealers were seen as being very scaly characters, hence the name calling. In Romeo and Juliet, one of the characters says that he shall bite his thumb to one of the other characters. In today's terms, this would have been understood as dropping your middle finger at someone as a gesture for swearing at him. My conclusion is thus, that not Shakespeare, but rather Shakespeareism should be dismissed from South African schools. Yes, it is a real English word. It means the fear of Shakespeare. Let's rather embrace new vocabulary, the history of English, and the best of all, insults. Viva Mr. Shakespeare!